Welcome to Eden Guru students. In today's session, we will be solving problems on laws of motion, friction and circular motion. Let's see the first question. In the shown figure, small mass m starts sliding down a smooth and stationary circular track. Which of the following graph best represents the variation of magnitude of the force applied by the track on the mass and the angle theta? Right. So, by looking at the diagram, you can say that if this is the circular track, this is the ball, this is sphere is rolling down by height r. Right, so m g r is equal to m half m v square. So m v square by r is equal to 2 m g. Right, so when this sphere comes at the bottom most point, the maximum force exerted is m g downwards, normal reaction n upwards. So towards the center, it's n minus m g is equal to m v square by r. So, n is equal to mg plus mv square by r. This is 3 mg. From the given options, either option A is correct or option B is correct because in rest of the two options, the maximum force is not equal to 3 mg. Right. Now, let us say at any point, at any angle theta, let us see the variation at any angle theta. Right. So, this, if this angle is theta, this is mg. Right along this direction, it is mg cos of theta. This is n dash or normal reaction, right? So, n dash minus mg cos theta is equal to mv square by r. We have to find mv square by r, where v is the velocity at this point, right? So, this is half m, let us write it as v dash half m v dash square is equal to m g r times 1 minus sin theta. So, m v dash square by r is equal to 2 m g times 1 minus sin theta. So, n is equal to n dash is equal to m g cos theta plus 2 m g times 1 minus sin theta, right? So, this is mg cos theta plus 2 minus 2 sin theta. This is not a linear function of theta. So, option B is the correct option in this case. 